In this presentation, we will introduce the document management features in Windows SharePoint Services 3.0 and MOS 2007. Document management is one of the primary uses of most SharePoint environments, and it is important to understand how Windows SharePoint Services handles documents and their metadata. This is an introductory video that will focus on document libraries. For more advanced features of document management, please return to SharePointScreencast.com for more intermediate and advanced videos. Let's get started. For the purpose of this demonstration, here we are at a team collaboration site for Triple H Farms. This site was built with the team collaboration template and already contains a document library called Shared Documents. One note is that the Triple H Farms team collaboration site is not inheriting its security structure from its parent, but rather has three groups set up, owners, members, and visitors, and visitors includes all domain user accounts from the domain, whereas members includes only administrator and Wendy. The shared document document library that comes bundled with the team collaboration template is not the document library we're going to use. So we're going to go under Site Actions Create to create a new document library. Before creating this document library, I would also like to point out that you can arrive here at this same Create page by visiting the site, viewing all site content, and choosing the Create button. It's the same page. So again, we're going to create a new document library, and it's going to be for holding the how-to documents on different various routine tasks that have to be performed in the barn. So I'm going to name it Barn Instructions. Notice the document template choice. I'm going to assign a document template of Microsoft Office Word documents to this document library. This is going to affect what kind of file gets created whenever a user attempts to create a new item directly in the document library. Here we are at the new Barn Instructions document library, and it's time to populate this library with documents. There are various ways you can prepare documents within a document library. You can create them from scratch with the New button keeping in mind the template that was chosen just a moment ago during the creation of Barn Instructions. You can also upload existing files and you can upload them either one at a time or multiple documents simultaneously. First we will upload a single document. If you know the entire UNC path to the document, you're welcome to type it in the field and click OK. Otherwise you can make use of the Browse button Burrow out to the location that holds your documents, highlight the document of choice, and it fills in the field for you. Now we have uploaded a single document into the document library. None of the d metadata that is required by this list was actually missing. Therefore, the document is not checked out to anyone by default. However, if Barn Instructions contained a column that required a value and that value was not filled in already, this document would be checked out to the person who uploaded it into the library until they filled out the required metadata. Now let's take a look at uploading multiple documents. Uploading multiple documents can be achieved one of two ways. You can either choose to upload multiple documents from the Upload menu, or you can upload a single document, but then change your mind on the fly and choose the Upload Multiple Files link. Both methods have you arriving at the same Upload Document page. Here we can burrow down the tree into the folder that contains the documents we wish to upload. We can check more than one document at a time, and upload all of them.
Now we have five documents in the Barn Instructions Library. To help organize Barn Instructions, it may be prudent to go ahead and create subfolders. The document library has to have subfolder creation enabled. To verify, we're going to head into Document Library Settings. Take a look at Advanced Settings. And just make sure that Folders, New Folder command on the menu, is enabled. And it is. Returning to the Barn Instructions Document Library, I will now create a new folder and we'll call it Cleaning Instructions. Now I will add a couple of additional documents to the document library that have nothing to do with cleaning a barn. Now we see that there are six documents contained in the document library, two of which have nothing to do with cleaning and five of which are cleaning instruction documents. It's best to create your subfolders prior to populating or uploading your actual individual documents. However, since I created my folder afterwards, I now need to move these items into the folder. The quickest and easiest way to do that is to change the view on the Barn Instructions Document Library from the All Documents Listed view into Explorer view. Explorer view is available to all readers of the library. Once here I can highlight using my shift or control key the multiple items that are cleaning documents. I can then right click them. SharePoint is warning me about performing an operating system command and I can cut them from the root folder and then burrow into the cleaning instructions folder and paste them. Now we'll return to the All Documents view and taking a look at the Barn Instructions Document Library, we no longer see the five cleaning documents here at the root folder. However, if we burrow into the Cleaning Instructions folder, there are the five cleaning documents. These are the basic functionalities of managing a document library, uploading files and organizing them in folders. There are additional advanced settings that may be of interest for managing your documents. Under Document Library Settings, there are versioning settings that will retain version histories of the items that are uploaded. There's also checkout behavior, content approval, and workflow. For more information about these advanced settings, please return to SharePointScreencast.com and watch the individual videos about each of these advanced features. In this presentation, we introduced the basic document management features of Windows SharePoint services, including uploading documents, creating folders, and moving items between folders. For more advanced functionality, please visit SharePointScreenCast.com and watch the intermediate and advanced videos regarding document management.